Hey everyone, Meosity here. Welcome back. Today we're going back into the Warrens, going for the Swine King, and who knows what else is going to be in store for us, because it's the Warrens. And we know that something is going to attack us on the way there. So, without further ado, let's get to it and see what happens. I'm going to be bringing a marking group just to see what happens while I do that, just for some fun and gigglies, so we'll see what happens. It is the rare occasion where this time around I actually am going to need blood, so we're going to do that, and otherwise just kind of the basic supplies. I'm always bringing these minor cards nowadays because after finding out they work outside of the uh, Scarlet Runes and kind of interact with every curio, it's kind of interesting to find what I can get outside of them. I know that lately I've been getting a lot of the angel feathers that I can't find a use for, but the other things can be kind of useful. I am going to be using the red seals because, quite honestly, in a marking party, those are really good. And let's just try to get rid of some of these stupid estate tokens. <laughs> Not sure how many I'm going to get to use, but the more the merrier. And holy water just because. My first attempts at summoning were crude, and the results disappointing. I soon found, however, that the type and condition of the host's meat was a critical factor. The best results came from pigs whose flesh is most like that of man. A nameless abomination. A testament to my failures. It must be destroyed. So, for this one, I'm just going to go straight down the middle because it's either going to be in the upper left or the lower left there. Interesting little get up there. I do think we want to take out the marcher and spawn there if we can. So let's start with the weed out on the marcher. I actually got the blade off. I just wanted the mark on it, to be honest. I think what we're going to do is I thief the spawn to get the accuracy down. That allows us to do wrath, taking him out. Continually onslaught. And we can do this. Oh, we missed. Never mind. I was hoping to take out the back row and just have to deal with these two, but I maybe should have stunned them. Alright, now that they're pretty much dealt with, let's start on the Slavering Cultist because that thing has a lot of health. Dizzying blow to body and brain. I'm gonna have her deal with him. Obliterated. Yikes. For the slightest lapse in concentration. Is that gonna stun us? It is not. Alright, so with this one, we're gonna try to stun both of them, getting rid of the guard. And, quite honestly, let's get rid of some stress. We didn't, but oh well. I thiefing. It is blossom to get rid of the stress and heal. Weaken. Going to chunk him out, or just kill him with a crit. Nice. And let's get on top of that healing while we can. Hit him? No. So we're gonna adapt and hit him this way. I think that bleeds. Then we're bleeding out to put the light on a bramble. So little use the sister that I forget her names sometimes. <laughs> And that should take out the Reaver. Alright. Oof. This is a very stress 
heavy group. I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> Is the bullfrog going to be able to eat the sycophants? Questions I have. Alright, so we're going to skeet right away. That got rid of the stealth. And he can. Interesting. Their formation is broken. Maintain the event. Okay, let's go at the bullfrog right away. He's gonna be an issue. Then we're gonna do this. There goes a chunk. The blood quickens. I suppose that means we have to do this. That eats the mark. Because he doesn't have a mark, I didn't want to use the um wrath there, but I think we're good to go there. And we can take him out. Alright. Now we don't have to deal with him getting a bunch more crit. We're then going to get her stress down. Because she is just gathering that. I thief the sycophant, marking it. That way everyone else can kind of just take it out, and then the supplicant should be easy enough, I think. And I'm gonna get her stress down again because she's way too high this early on. Her boom. Decimated. go we're taking that remind yourself think i can wait a little more on giving her blood Killer. we are however gonna give some food there and keep marching on still no scouting yikes okay not touching that they can eat hopefully i scout here Okay, either way, I'm camping, because if I don't, I'm going to get hit the boss. <laughs> if I do, well, I'm going to go the wrong way. Okay, so we're going to Fletchery, so with that accuracy and crit. We are definitely going to Final Verdict. And we're going to Spectral Watch Guard before we encourage spam. In radiance, may I, I'm gonna hedge my bets on going up. I'm gonna take this. And what do you know? I was right, we were wrong. <laughs> or, I was right, I was wrong. Alright, let's take out that marcher. Once again taking out the marcher. Oh, we missed. Kinda guessed that I would miss, but you know, it was worth a bet. Such a terrible assault cannot be Yikes, that's a lot of stress. And hemophilia. Lovely. Okay, now with her, probably kill the drummer. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Round two. Let's start de-stressing again because we're gonna need it. Then gonna go at the spawn, killing it. Awesome, we actually hit. And gonna go at the Reaver. Because that thing has a lot of things that I don't like. 
There's half of its health. Probably should have stunned, but I didn't want the stress on everyone that E Seraph would have done. So once again, we're gonna take him out. I think what I'm gonna do is honestly buckshot with the musketeer, and if she hits, that'll kill the reaver, so we can do this. And she missed both. Lovely. So we're just gonna weed out. That should kill him. Just leaving the corpse eater, even though we're very heavily stressed at this point in time now. And then I'm gonna hedge our bets on Eye Thief. Probably should have done the bleeding one, but that's fine. There we go. Success. So can use a key so it's not a mimic. Or is it merely a trick of the light? And we're gonna anti-venom that off. We're gonna heal a tad. And that means we gotta go down. Not gonna touch that. And now is a good time to use this. And I'm guessing we can do this now. We'll be fine. Anyone else need a bit of health? There we go. And let's do this. The match is struck. A blazing wine king. It is a travesty. A blundering mountain. All right. Hatred and rage. I'm actually going to a state token for now. I know that I could have gotten a chunk out of him, but that's fine. I'm going to weed out to mark him. Then red seal. There's a chunk. Oof. I mean, that's the health area I wanted her in. That still hurts. All right, bloodlusting. So we're not gonna waste this chance. I thief. The ground quakes. Put this on her, just in case. I think he goes last. And... Vengeance. As life ebbs, terrible now here's gonna be the trick. <laughs> I need the Seraph to not be hit. We still have Red Seal on, right? Yes. Gotta mark him again. Good old miss. And a vengeance again. Thing is even more horrible in death. Liquefaction cannot come soon enough. And now we gotta take out Wilbur. Little Wilbur. Let's do this. And I'm going to use this again. Lighting him. And there we go. Got enough blueprint, and otherwise nothing really too good. But that was the Swine King, not too bad. Almost two hits took out half of his health. <laughs> Oof. 
two diseases there. Rheumatism. 15% minus crit. Hot trot. That's actually a really good one. And she hit level 5. So, a few things that we'll be taking off, a few things that we'll be locking in. Women and six more recruits than usual. We should probably check those out. And corpses. Level 5 Duchess, level 5 Wraith. Now that the road is Always want to take these Wraiths because we've seen how good they can be. <laughs> also the Duchesses, not going to lie about those. And then extra Lamia is never bad and probably can use the Falconeer and then I'm not going to touch these level 1s and 2s. And then in the Sanitarium, Medical Ward, get rid of Rheumatism. And she's going to need a bunch of stuff, but we're also going to get rid of Hemophilia because 50% bleed resistance down is bad. Now, who else did I have on there? I'm very bad with names. I don't know why I keep doing this. I think it was this one. I'm going to lock in Deadly. You probably need to get rid of that Thidiomania. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. I'm not sure how you pronounce half this stuff, to be honest, but... <laughs> Deadly is a really good one to have, plus 2% crit. Uh, and then Warsi, I think, was the one that we had. Nothing absolutely horrible there, so I think we can keep that all there. And let's check out these new guys really quick. Deadly, definitely something we we'll want to have. Ooh, Lazy Eye and Flawed Release. Let's get rid of Lazy Eye first. If I'm going to use him, he's going to be using a few ranged skills. And once again, Deadly, he's not going to be using ranged skills, though. And Fragile on a Duchess is not something I would like, so we're going to fix that. And that will be that for now. Did not get any deeds, so I can't get one of the district upgrades I would like, which would be the Holy Fountain. And the other thing I want would take almost all of the gold that we have now, so I'm going to hold off until I get a little bit more. Um, just so I have enough for supplies, but the next thing I'm going to get is the Cartographer's Camp, other than that. And then, otherwise, it's a matter of just getting these bosses and seeing if we can't find a few more of these things from the mods that we have installed, because I know there's actually quite a bit, now that I've looked into a bit more, of um, monsters that we haven't seen that haven't popped up, so I'm not sure if I just need to be on higher difficulties. Or if the RNG just hasn't blessed us with their presence. So, we'll also be looking for those. But, um, yeah. We're just going to keep leveling those up. Um, maybe dip our toes back into the Crimson Courtyard and get the Viscount. I always forget their names. Um, Viscount down, but uh, I know he's going to be a bit of a challenge as well. And otherwise, just keep trying to track some of this stuff down and finish up the run in the long term. But that will be quite a bit yet. So, as always... Wish you all well. I'll see you next time and please have a good one.